Thank you, thank you. You guys, the Oscars are this They're here this Sunday. Hey guys, I'm Kelly Hansen and for Elizabeth Reese, I am here with our movie guy. Thank you for the applause, everyone. We really appreciate it. I'm here with Paul McGuire Grimes for our movie spectacular. This is going to be so fun. We even dressed up for the event, you guys. Looking fabulous. Thank you. You as well. Hey, let me get situated here. I feel like we're so far away. Yeah, move closer. Okay. Yes. Uh, you guys, welcome into Twin Cities Live. It is Friday. We are celebrating everything the movies because our big movie night is this Sunday, this Sunday. on 5 Witness News. Absolutely. 7 p.m. is 6 o'clock if you need any red carpet before. I was just going to ask you, do you know what time it's on? Uh, duh. <laughs> Paul is our movie guy, so I am so excited. He's going to kind of quiz me a little bit later. We're going to do his hot takes, um, but lots of fun. Stylist Amy Seaman is going to show us outfits inspired by red carpet looks. I understand there's going to be some, like, fanciness happening, and but how you can wear them day to day. Exactly, which is great. We can't all afford the, you know, the Tom Ford suits like I love And, like, to. <laughs> I would love to wear this every day, yeah, but exactly. it's just not going to work in my daily life. Plus, Kristen is going to check in with the limo rental company, and I hear she's got a fun little surprise Ooh. for us later in the show. So, Paul. Yes. You brought your movie. This is, like, a, a minuscule amount of your movie collection to the set here. Yes. I wanted to bring in Best Picture winners from my collection. One from every decade going back to the 30s. And I had to really decide, no like, what way. did I want to bring? We had more. So we've got the 1930s, the 1940s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Oh, 70s over here. 90s, the 2000s, 2010s. And last year's winner for Best Picture, Nomadland. Nomadland. Never seen it. Was it real good? Yes. Holy. <laughs> It's I, now streaming on Hulu if you need to see Nomadland. Okay. Francis McNormand. You um, are unlike many people. You buy the DVD. I feel oh. like a lot of people don't do that. Physical anymore. media, I think, is so important because then it's at your feet. You don't have to worry about which streaming service is it on, do, where can I find it, how much is it. I like to buy it. And I am the nerd that will buy multiple copies. Now, The Godfather, for instance, celebrating its 50th anniversary, it won Best Picture for the first one and the second one. And I just bought the anniversary 4K edition. It came in the mail today. Well, I it's understand having multiple copies because my husband is a big fan of grumpy old men. Absolutely. Did that win an Oscar? Um, maybe in your heart for funniest movie. In your heart. <laughs> in his heart. We have several copies. He buys them whenever we're at like Target. Uh, he just find, he finds them and he has to add to the collection like one or right. two yeah, yeah. isn't enough. So I get it. If you love a movie, you might want multiple copies. Um, okay, so yes. there are many movies up for Best Picture. I see this list and I'm thinking, that's a lot of movies. It's 10 this year. 10 They this went to year. 10 quite a few years ago, anywhere between 5 and 10. We normally were seeing 8, 9 nominees, and now this year we're back to 10. And I yeah. asked you beforehand, hey, Kelly. How many of these have you seen? And you, you responded. Wanna, you want to go down yeah, the list? We're going to go down the list, yeah. Okay, tell, you name it and I'll tell you if so I've seen Kenneth it. So Kenneth Branagh's film, Belfast. Have you seen it? No. Okay. Okay. Next what one. about Coda? This is now streaming on Apple TV Plus, Coda. No. Oh, Kelly, we're not doing so hot, people. <laughs> Don't look up on Netflix. Meryl Streep, Leonardo DiCaprio, big movie. No, and I haven't seen it because there were so many mixed reviews. Yeah, I heard don't warranted, see it, warranted. I heard do see it, so then I just chose not to see it. Not my favorite. It's maybe number 10, if not lower, oh. of these 10. Okay. Wow. All okay. right, next. Drive My Car, now streaming on HBO Max. Japanese, three hours. Have you seen it? No. Three-hour movie? Kelly. Who has time for a three-hour uh, movie? This guy does when he wakes up early on the weekends because his dog's barking. He's like, let's watch a Japanese film. Uh, no, it's phenomenal. Sure. It really is great. Really? Now streaming Where HBO do I Max. see this? HBO, HBO Max. Max. Okay, okay, what's next? Dune. Dune part one, technically. Listen, I... A little Timmy Chalamet. I haven't Oscar seen Isaac. that one either. Oh, Kelly, I don't feel like I'm alone. Well, I okay. don't think I'm alone. Here's one that I know a lot of people have seen, and a lot of people really love. King Richard, Will Smith, about the Venus and Serena Williams and their parents. No. Okay. However, this, I, just... I have been meaning to watch this. You know, we all have this good looks, intentions in life. This but... looks very, very good. <laughs> it's really good. I mean, you really learn a lot about the Williams sisters and how their parents really push them as their family unit to just be phenomenal. Oh, my God, you have to see it. Okay, Licorice Pizza from Paul Thomas Anderson. No. I haven't you... seen it. Kelly. I haven't seen any okay. of these. What else? I get that that may not. I, I get it. 
I, it's not because I don't want to. It's because I there's a lot of other things happening. Yeah, okay. okay. Yep. A lot mm -hmm. of things. Sure, Jan. Yep. <laughs> okay. Next stop, Guillermo del Toro's Nightmare Ooh. Alley. We got Bradley Cooper, Kate Blanchett. I really like how you said the director's name. I have not seen this. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Moving on. The Power of the Dog on Netflix. I mean, this is a lot of people talking about this. Benedict Cumberbatch role that you've never seen from him before. Kirsten Dunst, Jesse Plemons, Cody Smith. Who's that actor right there? That's Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh wow. No, I have not seen that. You'd think I would have. It's on Netflix. I have that. You have that. All right. Okay. Last but last not least. This is the last. Okay. If you have not seen this movie yet, and it's it's now available on Disney Plus and HBO Max. This is West Side December Story. 10th. The new adaptation from Steven Spielberg and Tony Kushner. Listen, I have seen the okay. musical. Yeah. I know the story. Who hasn't seen I have it? not seen the new adaptation, but it's on my list. Okay. There's a couple here that I really want to see. I just I was, haven't seen them. I get it. I get, that's totally fine. Isn't that how it goes, though? Whoever wins the award, I feel like nobody has seen the movie except for critics. Not necessarily. Am I right? Not, I mean, not necessarily. What I will say is that what's great about the Oscars, it, it gets people to seeing the movies. Okay. A lot of people I hear are like, oh, I've, I've now seen that movie because it was nominated. Or they try to get in the right. Best Picture nominees. Right. So this is a way for people like to see Coda or West. Or my Star. TV says nominated or winner, then I'm like, oh, I want to watch that. Ooh, I'm going to that in the menu I need people to video. tell me what to watch. <laughs> uh, speaking of the Oscars, I was an Oscar several years ago Ooh, here on Twin Cities totally. Live. We dug this out of the archives. This is what people made me put on for our Halloween movie show. That is stunning. Remember this, maybe yes. you don't remember this, I had to have my face painted gold. It was really thick and they made me wear a gold full length even around my toes, bodysuit on live television. That was when we were an hour show. That's I wore commitment. that for a full hour and didn't complain once. That I'm makes a me think of Buddy Epson and when he auditioned for The Wizard of Oz and he had the nervous the reaction to the makeup. Have you not heard oh, of this? Oh no. Buddy Epson, okay, Hollywood history, was originally supposed to be the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz. Oh. He screen tested, did a makeup test, and he had a severe reaction to the silver in the makeup. Really? And then they recast the role for Jack Haley. That's and the fun things that you it. know about movies <laughs> because you research. You love it mm -hmm. so, so One much. One of my absolute favorite movies of all time, The Wizard of Oz. Okay, we've got uh, a few more things to get to here, and I don't want to miss oh, this. Yes. So you have had incredible interviews over the years with movie stars. Okay, in no particular order, <laughs> one of your favorites, Tom Hanks, News of the World. This was December 2020. Uh, take a look at this. Paul, what, what is it like having all those DVDs knowing that you now have the streaming service so that you could, you know, you could do something else with all those rights? Oh, no, no, no. I love physical media. I mean, whenever I want, I can just pick something out and they'll never be gone. You know, like they're That's always right. with you. And, and you paid for, you paid for them once and you'll never have to pay for them again. Right? And they're conversation starters, exactly. I mean, these are real people. They're celebrities, they're real people, but they're noticing your movies, right. your movie collection. And people I that I've love lo this. looked up to like my entire life and movies that I love and then getting to talk to them and just having those conversations is just Oh, priceless. how wonderful. Yeah. Okay, Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, Halloween Kills, you interviewed her, interviewed her in October of 2021. Take a look at this. Because I said to David Gordon Green, David, nobody looks good in a hospital gown, <laughs> nobody. You could put Arnold Schwarzenegger in a hospital gown, he's gonna look like a wimp. It's just, it's the nature of hospital gowns. And so if I have anything to do with it, the fact that I'm not in a hospital gown the whole movie is you can all thank me, write letters. I am I answer them all, not. But I pretend I do and, and be happy to hear from you. She's, I love her. She's one of my favorites. I mean, Halloween, yes, my favorite scary movie. But her and I, I just feel like we had a really strong connection. It wasn't just like, actor interview or a Q&A, Q&A. Like yeah, it was, it's fast. It's very fast and it's it flies by. It's a very fast by. interview. I remember I flew to London <gasps> to interview Kira Knightley about yeah. three, four years ago. It was the most spectacular thing. That interview, I got two questions. They flew me across yes, the pond yes, to it, ask it. Kira Knightley two questions. If and they're going to pay enough. you to go to London, you say yes. You say Absolutely. yes. Okay, you got to interview Denzel Washington. This was in January of 20, this January. Yeah. Uh, you asked Denzel what other Shakespeare movies, like how he'd want to do it. Yeah. Here's what he had to say. Ooh, good question. Thank you. Well, I don't know. I can't, I can't you know, because that comes down to what is it I want to do, you know. It'd be curious to, I'd be curious to see what Joel would be interested in. I you think know, we can all be a little selfish. <laughs> it might be interesting to be in some 
what's a dark comedy? What would Joel lend himself? His, his... Hey. Oh. I mean, how? I mean, Twelve Nights. I don't know. That's not really dark. And as you like it, much ado. Even much, done I was gonna say even time. much ado with a with a with a Cohen brother. <laughs> I like how he's just like on his couch. I know. Just That's chilling. the best thing about like the Zoom interviews. You guys are just having a, home, just a friend like... conversation. I love this. Okay, we're going to mention just a couple more that you have just loved. Tell yeah. me about so these. I got to talk to Whoopi Goldberg a few years ago in person for this Tyler Perry movie, Nobody's Fool. And I told her about how me seeing Sister Act 2 back in the habit like kind of changed my life and inspired me to join a church choir. And I was in many oh, choirs wow. and show choirs. After that, we played Joyful Joyful at our wedding reception to then I to tell that Whoopi movie. that was just like incredible. I love that. Also, you you interviewed Lady Gaga for Lady... House of Gucci oh, my. in December. I mean, talk about Can an opportunity that, that? that was. And then she's like, hi, Paul, how's it going? And I'm like, no. oh my God, she says my name. Like, I, no. I was, I, it was an out of body experience talking to Eddie Lady Murphy, Gaga. Arsenio Hall for coming to America. I mean, this. The list goes on and on, Paul. Well, we have got lots of movies to talk to, talk to, talk about <laughs> talk to for the next hour. Yes. And a half. We've got some we hot go. takes, Paul, about what you think could or could not happen this Sunday. These are some really random hot takes. Okay, all right, let's start with number one. West Side Story will not win any of its seven nominations. What if do you think about this? If this goes home oscar list, it will be a travesty. What I do think it's going to win, though, is Best Supporting Actress for Ariana DeBose. She plays Anita and a stunning performance. I've watched this again recently. It's on Disney Plus and HBO Max, and I am just blown away by what Spielberg does in this movie. I love that these movies, you can, if you are streaming, have streaming services, you can likely watch almost all of them. I mean, the studios really partnered this year with streaming services to get these movies out there, get them to be seen. I have no excuse anymore. Okay, uh, number two, the hot take is Lynn manuel Miranda will again miss his EGOT. Now, if you don't know what an EGOT is, it's winning an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. He's won all but an Oscar. Do we think he will miss his chance again? This is one of those categories for best original song that I have a really hard time figuring out who's going to win this year. Oh, so we've got people like so Beyonce, great. Billie Eilish going up against Lin-Manuel Miranda, Van, uh, Van Morrison is nominated. So it's like, uh, who could win? I, he may get an ear out. There is a lot of love for Encanto, his film, and his song, We Don't Talk About Bruno. Everyone thought we that, don't talk, talk about, about Bruno, Bruno, no, no. no. I, I know people that. People thought that was going to like get nominated. They submitted a different song, Dos Orriguitas, instead. So they didn't they, submit the Bruno song. Well, no, because they had to submit these before the movies were even out. Oh, before and, it was big. But it's yeah, but it's a this is a beautiful song. They could give it to him anyway. I mean, it's Lin Manuel Miranda. He needs to have an egot soon. Okay, I, I'm Ugh. gonna I'm just gonna jump around here for a second. Yeah. Will Smith, will he finally win Best Actor? Yeah, I mean, I really do think so. I mean, he oh, is the fan this is, favorite. This is the best actor, you think? Yes, this is Will Smith. The, the, he is playing, if this is in King Richard now, streaming on HBO Max, I believe. Um, he is playing Serena and Venus, well, I didn't check that one before we started. He is playing Serena and Venus Williams' dad in this, and it's his best, career best performance, in my opinion. This is his third nomination. I believe he will win. He did walk home with the SAG Award a couple weeks and weekends ago. He got he walked home with the Critics' Choice Association Award. I can't uh, believe he hasn't won Best Actor. That's know, incredible right? to me. Yeah. Okay, uh, Disney, here's a hot take. Disney will not win a Best Animated Feature Film. This they've is tricky. Got, they've got three, Encanto, Luca, and Raya and the Last Dragon yeah. nominated. Will they win for one of those? So I think the two front runners right now are Encanto by Disney, okay. or one of my favorites, The Mitchells versus the Machines, which is a Netflix animated movie. And if you guys, if you have not seen The Mitchells versus the Machines, it is an amazing family movie. The animation is absolutely stunning. It's wholly original about a family that goes on vacation during the middle of the robot apocalypse. It is Incredible. That seems Watch fun. that. It's on Netflix. So I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of love for Encanto, but if the Academy were to try to just go for something different, mm -hmm. it's going to be that. Okay. All right. Uh, Belfast. Will this go home with the most wins? They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nominations. You know, a great movie from Kenneth Branagh. It was an early award season favorite, but I think the only award that it may go home with is Best Original Screenplay for Kenneth Branagh. That would be about the only award I could see it winning. Okay. Can we get to Best Picture? Who are we thinking will win? Who do you okay. think will win Best Picture? I think it's going to be Coda. This is the movie I talked about on Apple TV+. Plus. We saw that interview with Troy Kotzer, and this has had so much late season love. I mean, this is one of those feel-good movies that anyone can watch and just feel so inspired by. You will laugh. 
you will love this family and by the end you will be in tears and again I have I never cry at movies and I was you don't? Um, no oh, I have like I a cry. hard soul I don't I know I have an edge so I don't cry many movies. <laughs> no. I cry at commercials so I will cry at this movie oh absolutely okay. I Coda. love Coda Apple C O D Child of Deaf Adults again you will not you will you will love this movie oh Coda Child of acronym. Deaf Adults yeah. Very she, interesting. Um, her parents and her brother are deaf, and she is hearing, and it's this movie. She's Ruby, a high school senior, who's deciding, like, should I go off to college to study music, or do I need to stay home and be with my family, because I am their sole oh, interpreter. that sounds like oh, a God. wonderful... Oh, God. Just rip and, my heart and out. And that's streaming on Apple, Apple Plus, yeah. which is interesting to me, because a lot of these movies are streaming. Is this the first time we're seeing a lot of these movies that are streaming that you don't have to go to the theater to watch be nominated? I mean, I think so. I mean, we have, like, Netflix movies. They have a lot of movies. The Power of the Dog, which is also up. That is on Netflix. Again, Apple bought Coda out of the Sundance Film Festival. Oh, really? So, like, they were... Apple's the distributor for Coda. So it depends on, like, some of these movies that were studios, or and then they put them on streaming so that people could see them. Subscriptions will go wild yeah. for Apple Plus if Coda wins. $4.99 a month. I mean, honestly, people. Paul, I love all of month. your insight. <laughs> okay, lots...